Welcome back. Now I'm going to try to get through this video without sweating to death. It's the middle of April and about 90 degrees here in South Carolina. So we're going to do what we can with it. But the birds are chirping. All good. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Scorpion XT9000. Got about 1,200 miles in this helmet so far. So I'm going to give you my pros and cons. But I also want to compare it to the Scorpion ADF9000. Show you some differences on it. We'll get into it right after this. Ooh, nailed it. I'm gonna try to get through this without much rambling. And if you see me touch one of these helmets and jerk my hand off, they're smoking hot right now from the sun. Like I said, it's pretty hot today. But this is the Scorpion XT9000. This is my personal helmet. This is the Scorpion ADF9000. This is Timmy's old helmet. And this is a Scorpion ADF9000, which is my old helmet that I crashed in. But for sake of this video, we're gonna start with the XT9000 because that's the one I have the most time in. Been wearing this helmet for about 1,000 to 1,200 miles now. So I got a pretty good idea of how I like it so far, and I can tell you right off the bat, I really do like this helmet. Um, it's fairly quiet, but that's gonna be bike dependent because my 990 has got more wind noise than my Vistrom did. So it depends what kind of bike you got, what kind of windscreen you got, all that's gonna depend on how loud your helmet is. But for many helmet I've wore so far, it's just as quiet as any other ones. And I wear earplugs now, so I don't, don't really even hear it at all. I want to take a second in this video to thank today's sponsor, Rick Stewart, the SC Motor Lawyer. If you're out doing some goon riding, you crash, probably not a lot he can do for you. If you happen to be riding on the pavement, car pulls out in front of you, you have an accident, he'll be the man to call. If you don't ride, that's okay. You just need some legal advice, give him a call. Chances are he can help you out. That's Rick Stewart, SC Motor Lawyer. Thank you, Rick. Uh, the shield has been working fine. The only thing I don't like about it is the fart that's the that's the least amount that you can open that thing up to let air in there they don't have a detent at the bottom which is kind of aggravating but i don't do that that often anyway but some people do so that might be a pro or a con i can tell you one other thing about the shield if you don't have the pin lock installed if it's the least bit cold or if you ride in hot humid weather like it is here in south carolina that shield will fog up and there's not much you can do about it now that might be also because of my GoPro and I can't let as much air into the front of the nose piece there. But ever since I installed the pin lock, which does come in the box, game changer for me. I know people use that word a lot, but it don't fog at all. It don't matter what you do. Those things are amazing. Never had a helmet with pin lock and will never have one without it now that I've used it. It's great. Uh, and we'll go to the visor next. And yes, this is a visor, not a peak. It's good and flexible. Uh, so it don't make a lot of noise on the street. It don't catch my, no wind catches my head. It's got plenty of venting in there. So I don't have any buffeting issues with it. It does have vents on the top right there that you can open. I typically don't open any vents on the helmet because I'm usually recording and it lets too much wind noise in. So I try to make the best video I can for y'all. I don't know if my Blair Witch Project videos matter or not, but I tried my best and don't open up any vents, but they do function well. I have tested without the camera running. They do let a lot of air in. It has uh, pre-cut pockets for your communication device. All that fits in there, no problem. As you can see, got the cargo on there. Um, fits in the pockets, no issues whatsoever. This helmet also comes with a little mount that you can see right there, if you can see that, that you mount right in the mouthpiece right there. And that's for your GoPro. Now, as far as construction and weight goes, the XT9000 is a 3K carbon fiber helmet. It's a true carbon fiber helmet. This. ADF 9000 is fiberglass. I'm not, I don't know the exact weights. I'll drop links in the description for both these helmets so y'all can see that and y'all can read all this uh, technical information you want to. But as far as weight, these are both size medium. This one is about the same weight as this one with the GoPro on it. So if you imagine picking up a GoPro in your hand, that's about how much weight savings you're getting in between the two. Now this helmet retails for like 525 in this painted version. And they got a few different colors. The solid is $4.99. The ADF, you get it from about three to $400, depending on what kind of sale they got going on at the time. Pretty much identical helmets, except these, and this one don't work anymore. I'll show you why in a minute, but uh, this one has a drop down sun visor, as you can see there, and it functions well. These do not, which is no big deal to me. I prefer not to have a drop down sun visor. I know some people do. But you can wear dirt bike goggles inside this helmet and you can lift the shield up, put your dirt bike goggles in 
and you can actually close the shield with your dirt bike goggles on. So I use a tinted goggle. So when I'm riding off road, I just lift it up and I get back on pavement, I shut it and that acts as my sunglasses. No big deal. And the, and the eye port is plenty big enough to accommodate pretty much any kind of goggle you want to put in there. Now, some people have asked questions about how this looks without the visor on it and with the smoke shield. Because in each one of these helmets, any ADF 9000 or the XT 9000, you get a clear visor, I mean, a clear shield, a tinted shield, and you get the pin lock. And both the smoked and the clear shield is pin lock ready. So that's what it looks like and with all that stripped down, sort of like a Street Fighter mode. This is the one I crashed in, so I have crash tested this helmet, unfortunately. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see the scratches or not, but it's pretty beat up on top. But it didn't take any internal damage. But the drop down sun visor don't work. It's got a lot of dirt packed up in there. Or it just broke it all together. I really don't know. But I stripped it down. I still wear it from time to time. Just when I'm going to the store. Quick ride around the block or something. Just more of a street fighter look. The visor got ripped off anyway. So that's what it looks like. Stripped down. Smoke visor. Uh, pretty quiet helmet. Everything's been, been great with it to be honest with you. I wear earplugs now, so like I said before, the, the noise don't bother me whatsoever. Everything's been working, and I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I'll drop the script, uh, link in the description for both of these, so I can check that out. I also drop links in the description for the first impression videos of the ADF and the XT. You see, I can check those out as well. But I'm sweating to death. These helmets are hot, and I think this video is done. So as always, appreciate y'all watching. If you hadn't already, hammer the shit out of that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new content comes out. We'll see y'all in the next one. Boom. Y'all getting a little good lay of the land out here. There's a lot. I think the next year's rally gonna be on this same property, so come out here and play. Like I said, you don't have to worry about the cops so you can spin. And Lori, no, I'm not going fast. I'm just out here burping the throttle a little bit. I'm being careful. Gotta be paying attention. Yeah, gotta pay attention. Yeah. Still get you in trouble. I will get you in trouble. Damn, this goes way back here. Yeah, he is. Nobody's even riding over here either. No, that wasn't working. He kept that secret. Yeah. This is all still part of the property. Way back here. This is make the big loop back to the sand pit, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool loop to ride, actually. We are familiar with this a little bit. Because we rode this this morning. I thought talking to the camera, YouTube. <laughs> That's pretty much a lap on the land here. You got to go through here. This is a little course. Come back out onto the sand pit. There you go. Lap at the 2024 Palmetto ADB rally. <laughs>